In 1905, the 22-year-old Maria Jakobsen was working as a nurse at the Sundby Hospital Children's Department. Some people from the Danish branch of women's missionary workers offered her to go abroad as a missionary nurse. Maria wavered first because she thought she belonged here with the children at the hospital. The offer to leave for the East was a true shock for a young girl who had visited lovely European cities. How would her own family respond? One day when she was at the Trinitatis Church in Copenhagen praying, she stood up and said, Lord, if it is your will, then I will go. The American organization Near East Relief was mainly functioning in Harput and Mesre. The lack of workers was very significant. Tens of villages spread in the mountains, thousands of suffering people and a few doctors. Maria would visit 10 families a day in every village. After long-lasting work, she also had to learn Armenian at night. In Talkatin, all the women had been assembled and killed. The men had been killed much earlier. Women were ordered to take off their clothes. Then piling two or three of them on top of one another, they beheaded them. The women in the bottom would not die from the first blow. The soldiers would scream, those who are alive should stand up. We are going to take you to Mesra to be healed. And they would kill all of those who would stand up. But those who pretended to be dead were able to flee afterward. Until the last moment before returning to Denmark, Maria Jakobsen gathered orphans and opened orphanages in Armenian districts. Those who had survived one way or another came and tried to start a new life. Some even had to learn to speak Armenian again. Maria Jakobsen was able to gather 3,600 orphans altogether. We are now feeding and clothing more than 5,000 Armenians in Kharpert and Mesra. Besides this, we are sending help to Malatya, Arabgir, and Dirarapakir. We give only half a loaf of bread. The wheat will last until March. I dare not imagine that these little ones, after experiencing so much suffering, are going to starve to death. The Near East Relief American Welfare Agency had begun the evacuation of 110,000 Armenian orphans to Greece, Eastern Armenia, Russia, Syria, and Lebanon. Maria decides to go to Lebanon to once again be with Armenian children in need. In July 1922, Maria Jakobsen settles in Soknikael, located between Jibail and Beirut. This is the first Danish orphanage in Lebanon. It gets filled immediately. In 1928, the women's missionary workers of Denmark acquires the building of Jibail's Armenian orphanage from the Near East Relief Welfare Agency. This is where the Danish Bird's Nest Orphanage gets established. Maria Jakobsen visited Denmark in order to raise money for her orphanage and school in Lebanon. In 1957 in Denmark, in the accounting meeting of the Danish Friends of Armenia, Maria Jakobsen states, I think I am seeing Denmark for the last time. She knew that she would end her life away from her birthplace, next to her adopted people. In the 20th century, the role of women was changing. 
women were more and more recognized for their achievements. The Danish state gave both Karen Jeppe and Maria Jakobsen the Royal Gold Medal Award in appreciation of their humanitarian work. Before that, only men had received this award. In 1954, the government of Lebanon also awarded Maria Jakobsen with a gold medal of honor. They never had a family and children of their own. They remained mothers for the Armenians.